So a common question that we get is when is it appropriate to move into assisted living and what signs should I be looking for? Ultimately, what you're trying to discover is, is there a decline in quality of life because somebody is living independently? And a decline in quality of life can occur because of both mental and physical reasons. Now, the first step would be look at their dietary patterns. Is somebody who was once passionate about cooking now eating frozen meals? Are they getting enough nutrition? Or are they even losing weight, which is often a leading indicator of a decline in somebody's health? Then look at their social patterns and their social relationships. Are they maintaining their friendships or are they following through with their routines and hobbies? Uh, or are they beginning to isolate as they age and no longer doing the things that made them happy and stimulated? Now, those can be a little bit harder to observe, but easier ones would be, how do they appear? What is their appearance? Are they wearing clean clothing? Does it look like they've bathed recently? Uh, has their hair been brushed even? Uh, when you're looking around their house at their medications, are there medications that are expired? And then on the mental side, are you seeing lapses in memory or just a, a decline? Are they withdrawing and being less communicative? The most difficult one to observe is when there is a spouse acting as a caregiver for another person. Uh, often so, they are acting as a caregiver at the expense of their own health. And we, we see this a lot where children are concerned that one of their parents need assisted living and the other one is kind of getting over their skis trying to take care of that one person. There may come a time where you have to encourage somebody to consider assisted living for their own health and well-being uh, so that person does get the care they require, not at the expense of another.